Ricky, bad luck. You lost the test match, obviously, but you must be very proud of your team. Oh, the way we fought over the last couple of days, I think, has been outstanding. We had our backs to the wall, uh, you know, going into the second innings, 100 runs behind. Um, I don't think our first innings batting was, was quite good enough either on that wicket. We had to make more than 300, but we bowled very, very well yesterday. Um, apart from a 50-run you know, partnership at the end, which probably cost us a little bit, the whole, the whole of yesterday, was uh, bowling-wise, was very good. And the batting and commitment shown by our tail, order, tail, tail end in this game has been fantastic. So... We've probably got closer than we thought we were going to, but uh, yeah, a bit, bit disappointing not to get across the line in the end. Does that make it worse? Would you have rather lost by 50 runs than two? We saw you in that dressing room. You didn't move from that seat. How bad was it in there? No, it was pretty tense in the dressing room, yeah, as it was out on the field. I was just having a chat to Vaughan before and saying through the game he had all his fielders coming to him giving him advice, but towards the end there he had no one to turn to. So I think it was tense on the field and off the field, but it's, it's always you know, very disappointing to lose close test matches like that. But... You know, at the same time, um, Brett Lee and Michael Kasperwitz and Shane Warren can all take their hats off. They did a terrific job for us. I must ask you about the toss. We've all been there. Looking back on the game now, do you feel it was a mistake? What, what happened with the toss? Uh, I mean, the wicket surprised me a little bit, yeah, I must admit. And the, the, the conditions that morning were you know, overcast, as, as you would know. And I expected the ball to do a little bit more than it did. Um, and they got off to a flying start as well, which put us behind the eight ball straight away. So, you know, three runs difference at the end of the day. Um, I haven't got too many concerns looking back on the game but it certainly was a good wicket batting first on. Do you sometimes worry looking back on this series so far that you're turning to the same people to get you control when England are batting? With the bowling group? Yeah we probably are. We probably are a little bit yeah. Um, we need to have you know very even contributions across the board. Uh, we need to have guys chipping in at different times. That's been the great strength of our team for a long time is that we're not relying on, on too few players. You know guys are putting their hands up and doing the job when required and so far, it's only been a couple of guys, and it's probably been the same on the batting side of things as well. You know, we've, we've all got starts at different times in this series, and no one's pushed on and got big scores, which is a, something that we have to address before the next test as well. So hopefully we can get a, a good, even contribution from the guys uh, in the next test match. How much did you miss Glenn McGrath? Oh, I think we miss him, yeah. You're always going to miss someone of his experience and his, his talent and skill, I guess. Um, I think he would have done a, a, lot more, a lot better job for us day one as well that morning, um, just getting the balls in the right area. and. And probably just putting a, the, slowing the scoring rate down a little bit, if anything. It was off to a flying start, as I said. But, you know, he was, he was missed. But if he was, uh, I would rather have had Casper out there batting at the end than, than Glenn as well to, you know, today. So, um, yeah, hopefully. We'll keep our fingers crossed and see how he comes up over the next few days. Back-to-back -back test matches, never easy. Not so easy when you lose a test match by two runs. Can you pick your boys up? I guess the good thing about it, I guess, is we've got an extra couple of days off now between the games. The game's been over very, very quickly. But, yeah, I think this, uh, what's happened here today will really be a good lift for us. You know, we, we come down with a, a very slim hope of being able to win the game and we've got, you know, very, very close. And I think there's a lot of confidence that can come from those sort of results, even though we've lost. So, um, as I said, mate, I think the last two days have been great for us and hopefully we can, we can take that same sort of cricket into the first day down at Old Trafford. Well, good luck. Good luck with the rest of the series. Thanks, Ness.